What's going on, everybody? Game Magic the Tyrant. Welcome to Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, the first walkthrough of 2018. I have had this game since 2011 when it first came out. And to my left here, that is the sound. Or, wait, one moment. That is the sound of all of the Skylanders I have for this game. I have every single Skylander for this game, including all the, the DLC. Well, not the DLC, but including all the bonus missions like Empire of Ice and Pirate Seas and. All that stuff. Dragon's Peak, I think, is one of them, and the Crypt or something. I don't remember the exact name of it. It's been a long time since I played this game. I even have the legendaries: Legendary Bash, Legendary Spyro, Legendary Chop Chop, like Legendary Trigger Happy. I have a whole arsenal here so that I can provide a quality walkthrough where I, ha I can have everybody unlocked. I can show you guys everybody at some point throughout the walkthrough. Hopefully, I'll be able to show everybody off at least once. And I'm sure you know at this point what Skylanders is all about. It's been around for years. At this point, seven years. And there's been, I think, a game is released every year since. We've had Spyro's Adventure, Giants, Swap Force, Trap Team, Superchargers, Imaginators. I think that's all of them, at least. And I, I have two. I have the first two games. I love the first one. The first one I think is a really great game, and the second one isn't that isn't bad. But it, it's just that's when I started to realize that they were kind of starting to churn these games out because they knew they could profit off the toy sales. But I still love the original game. I think the original game is awesome. And so I am here to make a walkthrough for the game. Can't find Portal of Power? That is intentional. Because this game uses an interesting thing. It's kind of like Lego Dimensions if you played the game, except that this game came forced. Forced? It uses a Portal of Power to recognize minifigures and magically teleport them into the game world. So, we're going to start with Skyland Adventures. We, I will do a bonus episode on Battle Mode at some point. I don't know when, but at some point I will. And Skyland Adventures is the main campaign. I have four slots empty, even though I've beaten this game multiple times. We're just going to start up a new game. Greetings, young Portal Master. I have been waiting for you. I am Eon, your guide in this world. But where are you, you may ask? This is Skylands, an ancient world of wonder and mystery. For generations, the Portal Masters and the Skylanders kept peace and balance in this world, so that all creatures could thrive. Magic flows through everything here, every rock, every tree, and every beast. But now our world is in great danger. The darkness is spreading. Skylands needs your help. A great adventure awaits you, young Portal Master. I have sent my assistant Hugo to seek you out. We will speak again soon. Look at all these balloons leaving. Parking's gonna be a snap. They're not just leaving, they're evacuating. Something is terribly wrong. Oh, well that explains the flying rocks. Are you sure this is a good idea? Just go on, Flynn. Get to higher ground. I'll meet you on the other side of town. Alrighty-o. Good luck, Hugo. Master Eon said help would be coming. He said to be right here. First, the core explodes. Then, I start hearing voices. And now, I'm in the middle of a village being ripped apart by who knows what. Clearly, I am losing my mind. Now is the time, Portal Master. I was gonna say it myself, but Eon did his best. Now is the time to place one of my, I think, 32 Skylanders, plus the four legendaries, so. 36. 36 Skylanders, and I'm going for the for this first video. I'm going to stick with three. 
because it's going to be more of an introductory video. This, this mission is more, basically a tutorial mission. I'm going to use the three that come in the starter pack. Spyro, that, that, actually that was the sound of my nunchuck hitting the table as it fell, and also Spyro hitting the table. I'm going to use Gilgrunt and Trigger Happy. Trigger Happy was my main one back when I played this game on the daily. And to start off with, why not use the guy who's on whose name is in the title, Spyro. Whoa! Spyro! You've returned! Master Eon was right! That means he did find another Portal Master to help us. I, of course, never doubted it for a second. <laughs> I know that you are watching, oh great Portal Master! I am Hugo, and we have much to do! This village needs our help! All of my Skylanders are pretty well upgraded. But for the sake of the walkthrough, I'm going to assume that you don't have all the upgrades I have, like the ability to fly around, or an enhanced fire breathing attack. But I think this could also serve as an opportunity to show you exactly how to reset a Skylander. Not that you would ever have any reason to do this, because quite frankly, the only reason you would is the only reason I can think is that if you're making a walkthrough and you want to show everything from the beginning. So, I am going to reset the Skylander. To defend it all. Level one, zero coins. So I cannot, I can no longer fly. And I have a significantly weaker fireball attack. I'm not going to do all of these at once. Obviously, that would be mildly insane. I will do these as I start to use these characters. So, for now, let's just get into this. Okay, so, uh, basic controls. Uh, I'm playing this on the Wii, so it's going to vary between platforms, but I'm going to describe the Wii's controls. Control stick to move around. A button is your primary attack. B button is your secondary attack, or your secondary ability, I guess, minus the dash forward. Z button is your third attack, but we don't have that unlocked yet because we have to upgrade our Skylanders gradually. I'll explain that later. C is the interact button. Minus opens your Skylanders info menu. Plus is the pause button. And one and two don't do anything. So, without further ado, let's get a move on. All right. It has been a long time since I've played Skylanders Fire's Adventure. And I forgot about the bridge breaking. So, Fractured Vista. Right. Uh, actually, wait, can I view objectives? I can. Okay. So, each mission has a set of objectives. The chapter objective, which right now is just to rescue the villagers. Our completion objectives, which are the enemy goal, no lives lost, all areas found, and cleared in under three minutes. Collections, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. I, I'm not going to worry about the cleared in under three minutes thing or anything like that. But I will be worried about soul gems, legendary treasure, hats, treasure chests, story scrolls, all that. So, now that we've cleared that up, let's move along. So this is the Fractured Vista. And we don't have any enemies to attack yet. Young Portal Master, I, Eon, will help you. If you use your attack button, you can break through debris and obstacles. Yes, thank you, Eon. You, we're gonna use our primary attack to blast open this gate and then move right along. We heard the Skylanders were all gone, but it's great to see you're here! That main road was destroyed, and now the townsfolk are all trapped inside! It's very dangerous! Taking down that wall seems like it might help! Maybe that old cannon will work! Okay. So, what the game is not so subtly trying to tell you is that you have to fire the cannon. But, what it doesn't tell you is that you actually have to fire this cannon twice. So, fire it once to blast open the wall. Like I said, this really is just a tutorial level, because it, it, they basically walk you through exactly what to do. So, okay. So, this is different. So, on all other console platforms, that being PS3 and Xbox 360, you use the right analog stick to perform an action, but on the Wii, you move the Wii remote towards the screen to open a door when you use a key. So that's that. Anyway, as I was saying, once you open up the gate, come back here and then fire the cannon again. That will open up. A, that will blow open a building a little bit further on. Yeah. 
you collected a treasure chest. Yes, we did. When you basically when you find a treasure chest, you step under it and shake, shake, shake. All right. See, let's see if this is a result of that building we blew open earlier. What's this? The legendary treasure. Because we fired the cannon twice, we blew open the building that was originally right here, and then we got the legendary treasure. So that's cool. And then we're going to use this cannon. We don't actually have to fire this one twice. But on the other side of here is going to be our key to open the doorway forward. Again, put the key in the door, move the remote forward, and the door is open. And I'm just going to check around really quickly, see if there are any other things we can break before moving on. Because I do I do want to try and upgrade our uh, Skyliners. Something horrible is happening on the far side of the village. Thanks, Weeza. I would never have guessed. Okay. So now we can move on. We've opened the door, so now we are going to trek right along. Kent, you need to keep open this gate. Thank you, I never would have guessed otherwise. Oh, am I so glad the Skylanders are here. Hope there are more of you. We have a doodle of a problem here. See, the bridge is out, and people are trapped on the other side of Turtle Gully. Gosh, I hope they're okay. Lobbers over there can't move that turtle. Could you please help him? Okay. So, apparently, Skylanders have the super strength in order to push turtles. By Pythagoras' theorem, you're a Skylander, aren't you? Good thing you're here. I've got a big brain, but pretty puny muscles. I could use a powerful hero such as yourself to help me move this turtle. Push the turtle to clear a path forward. So, Skylanders can apparently push push these turtles. So we're gonna push this one out of the way so that we can move forward, and then follow the coins down here. Now we're gonna push this first turtle to the left, and the second one all the way across the bridge, so that we can cross the bridge. And now we are going to meet... Hey down there! Flint. Name's Flint. You go told me to meet you. Boy, you got here just in time. I can see what's causing this island to shatter. Come here and I'll show you. Use those bounce pads, they're super springy. So we're actually going to completely ignore him for a moment and focus on something else. Push this turtle against the wall and then to the left to, to fill this gap. This, my friend, is an elemental gate. So basically what this is, is that, here, actually let me demonstrate this. I'm going to take Spyro off the portal of power really quickly. The game's going to recognize that I did that. And so now I'm going to put, let's put Gilgrunt on here. Here's the fish! Who I apparently renamed to Gilman. And I've leveled up exponentially. I really don't want to say goodbye to you since I've leveled you up a lot and I'm really proud of how I leveled you up. But you know what? It's for the sake of the walkthrough, I will reset you. Who's gonna beat that? Anyway. As I was saying, you'll notice that as... Oh, shut up, Eon. You, do, you know, I'm going to do your job for you. As Gilgrunt, e.g. a water Skylander, I cannot go through this gate. But, if I switch to either Spyro, Double Trouble, Wrecking Ball, or Voodoo, those are the four Skylanders of the magic element. It's showtime. So now we'll now be able to move through the elemental gate. It will shine to life and I will be able to walk through. So let's do just that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to push this turtle to the left. Just like that. And then we're going to push this one forward twice. So now we can actually walk all the way around. And the first thing we are going to get is the soul gem. You found a soul gem. New powers available. Cursed Brome Brambler for Chop Chop. Would you like to preview Chop Chop? Sure, why not? <laughs> but that's not the only thing that's in this area. Over here. We are going to find a present. So shake the Wii Remote to open the present just like you would a treasure chest. And we found a hat. You got a hat. Viking helmet. You want to wear the hat now? No, I want to keep Spyro hatless. But it does give us some extra defense. So no, no, that's not what I wanted to open. Hang on a minute. Objectives. 
So, what have we found? We have found soul gems. We found a legendary treasure, we found one hat, and we found one treasure chest. We've yet to find a, sto a story scroll, though. Don't worry, we will find all of those in due time. So, let's do... Well, not do just that, really, because we still have a ways to go. Okay. So, in order to get back, we're going to go up around this hill and then drop down. And now we can backtrack across and into the main land, aside from the magic gate. It's interesting that this that can be so easily bypassed, though. Anyway, alright, now we can bounce up. These blue platforms are bounce pads that we can use once you step on them, you bounce up into the sky, and here's our first story scroll. While the shape and size of portals vary, under the control of a true portal master, these mystic devices can connect two points in space, dimension, and, if we are to believe ancient legends, even time. Portal Masters can then send Skylanders and magic to the other side. Good to know. Okay, so now we're going to step on this blue bounce pad and bounce over to the other side, bounce up into the sky, and hey there, Flynn. You see that, Twister? It's a big one, all right, but I got an idea. What we're going to do is... Oh! Close. It's okay. You go on ahead, and I'll take her around and meet you back here later. Okay, so now we're actually going to take Spyro off of the portal for a little while now. Sorry, we'll come back to you in a minute. Or not in a minute, actually. We're probably not going to use Spyro again for the rest of the episode. Well, maybe we will towards the end. And we are instead going to put on Gil Grunt. Ready for battle! Gil Grunt, as evident by his logo, is of the water element. Which means, if we come over here... He can cross over to the second treasure chest. If we were any other element, or if we were if we were Skylander of any other element, we wouldn't be able to cross the little river, but because we are a water elemental Skylander, we could do that. So let's grab these coins, and then head on back. Alright. You again, thank goodness. I'd gladly escape this raging tornado, except these monster gates are in my way. Monsters always stake out their territory by putting up these gates. And these are particularly nasty little monsters, too. Hungry little chompies. I'll be on the safe side, thank you. It sure beats being on the choppy side, um, which is where you are. But don't worry. These gates will open once all of the monsters have been defeated. So all you have to do is just get rid of all of the choppies in there, and everything should be just fine. <laughs> Good luck. Choppy, beware of those pearly whites. Okay, so we have to defeat 15 of these little chompies, and they're not that hard to do, so just hold down either A or B. Some characters will not have as for secondary attack, but because we're using Gilgrim for this section, I recommend using holding down B for your secondary attack because it's much more effective than his primary attack, which is to do this. It, it's not that bad against these chompies since they just one-shot him, but it's much more satisfying to use it like a flamethrower or a pyrocitor from uh, Ratchet and Clank. Anyway, once they're all clear, we can move on to the next section. These are elemental gates. Behind these kinds of gates are some great treasures, but they can only be opened by a Skylander of the same element. So like, the water gate can be opened by a water Skylander, and the tech gate is, well, you know, by a tech champion. <laughs> I mean, it's totally obvious, right? Okay. Now, I, I'm sure you figured out by now, it's no coincidence that the three elemental gates we're going to be using, they're going to be passing through this episode, belong to the, are the same three elements that are given to you in the starter pack, that being magic, water, and t technology, or tech, or whatever you want to call it. We're going to do both, since, we ha since I have the whole collection, and you should too if it's just a starter pack, but we're going to start off with the water gate, since we are currently playing as Gilgrunt. As the water element, Skylanders step into the middle of the whirlpool and you will teleport up to this ledge right here. There's some coins we can grab. But beyond that, 
We're going to bounce up these bounce pads up here and grab some coins along the way by busting open these things. And then we're going to bounce up one more time, and the present is right here with our second hat waiting for us. You got a hat, pan hat, plus two armor, plus two elemental power. So like I said, these things are indeed useful, but I never end up wearing them. I, maybe I'll put some on later in the series, but for now I just don't need them. So now, to make sure we don't get teleported up again, we are going to follow the coins down home, and now we're going to take Gilgrunt off of the portal of power, and put my boy Trigger Happy on. This guy was my main when I played this game, as, as you can see by the fact that he's level 9 with 1,040 coins. And my, is he powerful? I think I have a turret? Yeah, I have a turret. Well, I'm sure we'll unlock all this in due time, but again, for the sake of the walkthrough, he shall be reset. See you later, Trigger Happy. It's been fun. Okay, also don't worry about the new horror challenge thing popping up in the top right hand corner of the screen. We'll get to those later. Alright, to the tech elemental gate. A bridge of gears, a, a bridge, a bridge of gears, yes, a bridge of gears and cogs technically is going to appear. So now we're going to wait for an opening in the blade to jump in and then move to the right, wait for another opening, jump in. And we could have made that, but I chose not to because we're going to do this the safe way. Just follow the blade around and move across here to the third and final hat of the level. We got a hat, anvil hat, plus five armor. You wanna wear the hat now? No. All right, so now we're just gonna follow the blades home. And again, I could have made that, but I decided to play it safe. So now we have, let's do a quick checkup. One soul gem, one legendary treasure, three hats, one story scroll, and two out of the three treasure chests. Only one treasure chest to go. We are almost at the end of the level. So, let's head up, shall we? Just follow the follow the trail upwards. And we shall stumble across. The tornado! Wait! Hobbs and me goiter! The Royal Babu Palace is completely gone! And oh no! Look! The royal family is trapped! You must save them! Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just clear out these chompies. So, make sure you get rid of these guys before we do anything else. And you can actually see our final treasure chest up there on the right. Once these guys are clear, we're going to push this turtle to the left twice. And then head up the ramp and cross over the turtle so that because the turtle fills in the gap and then we're going to fire this cannon to clear the blockage over here and then use the bounce pad to bounce ourselves across and grab the key but before we jump down we're going to head over here and unlock the third and final treasure chest of the level and now with that accomplished we are going to drop down get some extra treasure in one second and turning put this key into the gate Move the Wima forward, and that is level over. Cheers for the Skylanders! Thank you. Thank you, mighty hero! Free at last! Oh, thank you! You did it! Thanks to you, all of the villagers managed to evacuate just in time! This is only the beginning. There are reports of terrible disasters all throughout Skylands. Yeah, well, there's gonna be another one if we don't get moving. That tornado is right on top of us. Oh, right, and we should get to safety. I'll explain everything on the way. As you can see, we are basically 100%ing this game, except for the cleared and under time limit thing. I'll probably go back in a bonus episode to, to uh, accomplish the speedrunning things, but you basically just have to run through the entire level with no consequence, so 
it's not particularly entertaining for a video, so I won't do it on camera, but in order to uh, complete, in order to get 100% of the game, you do have to clear all levels under the time limit. And in fact, one thing I need to make a note about here is, on the Wii version, as you can see, it's a, it's a 3 minute timer, but on every other version, it is a 3 minute 48 second timer. You'll probably figure that out on your own, but just want to make that clear. Anyway, that's it for level 1, so I'm going to let the cutscene play, and then I'll get back to you once we make it to the hub world. For as long as anyone could remember, Skylands was protected by the wisest and most powerful beings of all, the Portal Masters. And the greatest among them was Master Eon. He and his Skylanders protected the Core of Light. For centuries, the Core of Light had enriched the world, holding at bay the darkness, the ultimate force behind all evil. But now, Eon was the last Portal Master, and growing weaker with age, he knew it was only a matter of time before the darkness would return. M Master Eon, th th those clouds! Is something wrong? Have you ever known dark, boiling, ominous clouds to be a good thing, Hugo? Take your station, Hugo. Skylanders, the darkness has come! Prepare for battle! Behold, it is I, Chaos! Long have I waited for this day to take my revenge! Soon you will all bow down before me! Chaos! K-A-O-S! Chaos! I might have known. And what happened to your head? It looks ridiculous. Ah, what? Eh, my head is awesome, I tell you! Fear it! Fear my giant floating head! See? I told you the head isn't scary enough. Silence, Clubjanks! You're spoiling my evil mood. You thought you had banished me to the Outlands? <laughs> I, Chaos, have returned to destroy the Core of Light and rule Skylands as its Emperor. And you are so old and weak now, Eon. There is nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I've told you before, Chaos. You and the Darkness have no power here. Oh, is that so? We'll just see about that. <laughs> Skylanders! <laughs> it out we're losing maybe we should go to plan b no clum shanks i have a much better idea initiate plan c <laughs> scattered to the far corners of the universe, and Skylands lost its greatest protectors. But there is more to their story. As the Skylanders were drawn farther and farther away from the magic of Skylands, they began to shrink until they reached your world, waiting for you to find them. 
Master Eon? He survived the blast, but was changed. He became a spirit. Though without his body, he couldn't fight chaos and the darkness. But now we have you, young Portal Master. Thank the portals, we made it back in one piece. So as you can see, with our core of light destroyed, Skylands is in great danger. I'm sure that tornado was no accident. This is clearly the work of chaos. Chaos. Oh, that guy really grinds my gears. If you're taking down chaos, you can count me in. Glad to hear it, Flynn. Callie agreed to help too. Callie? Ah, oh, Callie. Well, I've heard some things about that gal. Interesting things. If she's involved in this, count me double in. Splendid! When you're ready, go with Flynn to Perilous Pastures. I'll prep the balloon for takeoff. And if you bring back any more of those... those sheep, I'll never forgive you! Okay, so that's pretty much the ending. This is going to be this is going to serve as our hub world, and I'll go into a bit more detail of that in the next episode because there isn't much for us to do. There's going to be a lot more for us to do here later throughout the series, but for now, there really isn't all that much for us to do. So we'll get back to this next episode. So I would like to thank you all for watching. See you with the next episode, and until then, it's been a game magic, gaming magic routine. Signing off, saying hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you next time for some more Skylanders Pirates Adventure. Goodbye.